Phil Anselmo, beloved by millions of fans around the world for his contributions through Pantera. His music is iconic, and obviously that band is legendary. There is no doubt about that. But of course, Phil also has his fair share of detractors out there and some peers in the music industry. And now at least one of his former bandmates is accusing him of basically being an entire fake from his image to his vocal style and ripping off a popular metal frontman, that being ex-hoarder frontman Kyle Thomas's vocal style. Now, I hope I am pronouncing this man's uh, this man's name right. Apologies if I am not. Marcy Montezeri, the former bandmate and guitarist of Philip H. Anselmo and the Illegals. They've known each other since at least 1990. They worked together on some early demos for Super Joint Ritual. And in this interview, he was asked about what the comparisons were between ex-hoarder frontman Kyle Thomas and Phil Anselmo. And he goes on to say some very, very, uh, he says, honest things about Phil Anselmo, his sincere opinion. And let's just say that uh, they weren't, they weren't very kind. <laughs> he, he says that, that Phil Anselmo's image and everything, he says the tough guy image that he portrays is just an image and it, it's not, it, it's a gimmick. It's a, it's an, he basically does everything but call him a poser. So here is uh, the situation. Now up front, I just wanna say it is difficult to emulate someone's vocal styles without some degree of talent to begin with. And it's not that he's saying that Phil Anselmo isn't talented, but he also goes on to talk about Dimebag as well even though he claimed that they were really good friends. So this is a interesting situation to say the least. He was on the classic metal show, Marzi that is, and he speaks on Bill Anselmo. And so he says, how would he compare the experience of working with Anselmo to playing with Kyle Thomas? And he goes on to say, well, they're both very talented people, but I will tell you this from working with both of them, they're both very intelligent people. Kyle Thomas is an original. He is entirely original. His voice, his presentation, his lyrics, the way he writes, everything about Kyle Thomas is original. I love Phil. I worked with Phil and I enjoyed working with Phil. Phil at the best is imitating Kyle. So there lies the pretentiousness about him. And I'm only saying this because you asked me about the experience. I walked into it knowing, regardless of what his demeanor may be, all the stuff, I get it. I get the tough guy thing, I get it. But all that aside, put the act aside. And what you're gonna end up getting is someone pretending to be someone else, kind of the way David Lee Roth did with Jim Dandy. David Lee Roth did a great job at it, and Phil with his Pantera did the same thing. He did Kyle at the time better than Kyle did. He ripped off his style, his vocal style, because he was doing Rob Halford stuff back then when he first joined Pantera. And when Cowboys from Hell came, he wanted to be an ex order so bad, he went back and said, we're gonna sound like these guys. And he took it, simplified it, and they became the biggest band in the world. But the formula was that. Again, I'm not bashing no one. I'm just telling you the truth. I mean, did they write great records? Did they write great songs? Shit, yes they did. Is Dimebag the greatest metal guitar player? Goddamn right. He was my best friend. He was Pantera. His style, his lead playing is just unmatched, man, unmatched. So that's basically the gist of it. One is completely unoriginal and influenced by a hell of a lot, but the other is trying to be the original and doing a really, really good job at imitating him. But in the end, it's just one guy trying to be somebody else. Later on in the interview, he was asked if he thinks Anselmo's vocals in Down were also influenced by Thomas. He says, okay, yes, yes, absolutely, man. Yeah, absolutely. When you have the ability to do things and then you see something else happen, you take it. Some people don't care if they rip something off. In fact, they're blatant about it. They rip on, uh, there's a riff on Vulgar Display of Power that he, presumably referring to Dimebag, played for me. And when he used it, I looked at him and I said, man, that sure sounds a lot like Helmet. And he goes, where do you think I ripped it from? He boldly told me that. And the guy from Helmet, he took him to the back of the bus and played that riff for him. And he had to get up and leave. The dude from Helmet just got up and left because he was like, wow, I can't believe this. I wasn't like, it wasn't like an homage. It was a blatant ripoff. This works, so I'm just gonna take it because I'm at a point right now, no matter what I do, people think I'm coming up with it. So that's just a game being played. And at the end of the day, truth comes out, good music comes out, 
and stuff like that. And I'm not discrediting anyone, but you're asking honest opinions about comparisons. Now, evidently, there's somewhat of a precedent being set for Phil Anselmo being compared stylistically to X Order. He was asked in a 2013 interview, and uh, props to Blabbermouth for pointing this out. He was asked in the interview, he says, was there a major influence from X Order on Pantera Sound? And he says, it's absolutely untrue. X Order was a killer band, don't get me wrong. And for their time in the local scene in New Orleans in 1998, or 1988 rather, as far as skill level, they really upped the game for everyone. To this day, I'm still really good friends with their singer, who is now the singer for Trouble. Kyle and, I, Kyle and I come from the same school of heavy metal vocals. Rob Halfer, Don Doty, Dark Angel, and Tom Mariah. So there were similarities between us, but musically, I don't hear it at all. So anyways, Bill Anselmo here obviously getting raked over the coals by um, by this, this former bandmate of his, uh, Marzi Montezari. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. But it is very, very interesting. He says, you know, he's not trying to call him out or anything, but he is certainly outright accusing Phil Anselmo of just being a, a fraud, an imitator, a poser, uh, if you will. And it's a difficult thing to, to claim that if someone comes off, you know, he says he basically says that the whole tough guy image that Phil portrays is, is, a, is a gimmick. It's a shtick and it is not authentic whatsoever. It's going to be interesting to hear what Phil Anselmo has to say about this from his former bandmate, basically accusing his entire public persona and his vocal style of being fake. And I'm sure that a lot of Pantera fans are not going to agree with that. And he, he even mentioned someone who he claims to have been his best friend, Dimebag, playing a riff for someone and them having to get up and leave because he says they're basically blatantly ripping them off from helmets. So it makes you wonder just what is this guy's motivation to be raking Phil through the coals like this, but he says he's just being honest and you got to respect a man's honesty to it at least. So, uh, you know, it's a dynamic situation. We don't know what their relationship is behind the scenes. He's obviously formerly in a band. I'm not exactly familiar with what the circumstances surrounding his departure were, but Nonetheless, this is clearly a guy who appears to have somewhat of an axe to grind with at least Phil Anselmo. We're going to keep an eye on the situation. We're going to let you know if Phil chimes in. You can subscribe to this channel if you're new here with notifications on for daily hard rock and heavy metal news. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you all very soon. You can check out these recommended videos on the screen. Again, appreciate you guys for joining us today. We'll catch you soon.